Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Anne Brett and I'm a member of the Flash Copy Manager ID team. This video is the first in a two part series that demonstrates how to install, configure, and start the Flash Copy Manager GUI. For this video, we will install Flash Copy Manager. For the second video, we will configure and complete a Flash Copy Manager backup. Then start the GUI from the following interfaces. From the Solutions and Applications pane of the vSphere web client, from a URL bookmark to the GUI web server, from the vSphere web client GUI. Let's get started with installing Flash Copy Manager. Our first step is to install Flash Copy Manager. Log in to the vStorage backup server as a root user ID. This server is where we will install Flash Copy Manager and can be either a virtual machine or a physical Linux system. To start the installation, enter the command that is displayed. Select the language to use for the installation and click OK. On the introduction page, click Next. Read and accept the terms of the software license agreement and click Next. Select the installation type, default or advanced. For this demonstration, we will accept the default settings. On the vSphere protection page, two options are selected by default to access the GUI. The first option will enable us to access the GUI from the Solutions and Applications pane of the vCenter server. The second option will enable us to access the GUI from a web browser. The third option will enable us to access the IBM Data Protection extension from the vSphere web client GUI. We can use this extension to restore virtual machines from flash copy hardware snapshots. We will select this option and click Next. On the vCenter registration page, enter the vCenter server IP address or name and user credentials. This user must be a VMware administrator that has permissions to register and unregister extensions. Click Next. During the configuration, you are asked to confirm that ports 1527 and 9081 are open. Review the pre-installation summary and click Next to start the installation process. Done and the installation is complete. At this point, we have successfully installed Flash Copy Manager with all the three options to start the GUI selected. To see how to configure, complete a backup, and start the Flash Copy Manager GUI, continue to the second video. If you have questions, comments, feel free to contact me or any other IBM representative. I hope you find this information is useful and I look forward to seeing you soon.